County School Board member is among more than 200 people arrested in a human trafficking sting. And today we're learning some new details about that undercover operation. Our Jason Sloss joins us live now with the latest. Jason. Hey, good afternoon. Well, authorities in Florida arresting 213 people in this human trafficking operation, and one of those arrested is a member of the Del Mar Union School District's Board of Trustees. Today, the Polk County Sheriff's Office releasing details about that operation, including the arrest of 60-year-old Scott Wooden, a Carmel Valley resident who served on the school district's Board of Trustees since 2010. The seven-day trafficking, oper trafficking operation started last week. According to the Polk County Sheriff's Office, part of the operation targeted people soliciting prostitution online. Investigators say an undercover deputy posted an escort ad and was later contacted by Wooden through phone calls and text messages. Then Wooden agreed to meet at a location to pay $200 for sex last Saturday when he was arrested. According to the sheriff's report, Wooden said he had responded to an ad on a website and, quote, got caught doing something stupid. The sheriff says Wooden claims he was in Florida to help his parents with something. Wooden is a retired molecular biologist with a Ph.D. According to the school district's website, Wooden is married with two children and is currently in his fourth term on the school board. Here's Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd. This guy knows better. He's supposed to be a leader in the community. He's an elected official. He's making decisions for our children. And he's out soliciting prostitutes. Well, the Del Mar Union School District declined to give us an on-camera response, saying after talking with attorneys, they decided to release a statement which reads in part, while we do not yet know all the details and circumstances of this incident, the allegations are shocking and extremely concerning. The district is continuing to learn more about this incident as information becomes available. The board is exploring options for any related action with its attorneys. And of course, we will have more about this trafficking operation coming up in our later newscasts. For now, live in Carmel Valley, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. All right, Jason Sloss with the latest details on that. Thank you.